What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. Today's tutorial is going to be a high taper. Um, it's just going to be a really super, super simple. I'm not really taking too much off the top. This is the final result. If you guys want to know exactly how I did this haircut, you guys definitely want to stay tuned because it did come out super fresh. But you guys to get started with this haircut i do have my number four guard attached to my clipper and i'm just running through his hair evenly uh, just to go ahead and trim off the tips just to freshen it up a little bit and when i'm doing this i'm making sure that i'm combing through his hair and really just going in every single direction just because his hair likes to lay down and i want to get it as even as possible So now that I got the top trimmed down, now I'm gonna be working on the side taper. And right here I have my Babyliss trimmers uh, to go ahead and set in my first initial guideline. I'm starting off at the corner of his lineup and then uh, working my way over to the top of his ear. And when I'm doing this, I would really wanna make sure that I get everything nice and bald just because I really wanna be nice and organized. And really the neater you are with your steps, the better your haircuts are gonna come out. Now I'm switching back over to my Stylecraft Rebels and with the lever at the all the way open position, I'm going to go ahead and create my new guideline going up about half an inch. So here I went ahead and closed my lever all the way and I'm just going to start to slowly flick out the bottom line going up about maybe quarter of an inch every single time and then just opening up the lever every single notch until I get to the halfway point. Uh, but mainly just most importantly, I want to really make sure that I'm flicking out. So here I'm going back in with my trimmers just to get rid of the very bottom line that I was left with the shavers. Uh, so since I use this to create the line, uh, just using them again just to go ahead and knock it right back out. So now I have the number one guard attached to my clipper and once again starting with the lever at the all the way open position, I'm going to go ahead and create a new guideline going up about half an inch. Now here I have my half guard attached to my clipper and then now I'm going to start to go ahead and down fade. So starting with the lever at the all the way open position, I'm just going to really stay underneath the one guard with the all the way open, the top guideline, and just start slowly fading down. Here I'm closing the lever to the all the way close position and just really using my corners, I'm going to start to flick out the bottom line the best I can. Now I'm opening up the lever to the halfway position and just kind of cleaning up any line that I see underneath. Now moving on to the next step, I have my one and a half guard attached to my clipper and starting with the lever all the way open, I'm going to go ahead and create a new guideline going up another half an inch. Now I'm closing the lever all the way and then just going right underneath my previous step to go ahead and lighten up the bottom line. Here I'm using the number two guard and starting off with the lever all the way open, I'm just really flicking out uh, the top area of this taper just to go ahead and blend it into the number four guard on top. Now to begin the neck taper, we're going to start with the same exact steps that we did on the side taper, starting off with the trimmers to set in the bald guideline. Clean, 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 clean. 
now going back to the rebels with the no guard with the lever all the way open i'm gonna go in flicking up about an inch to create my first guideline Now I'm going to start to blend out the bottom line starting off with the lever all the way close, flicking up about quarter of an inch and once again I'm going to make sure that I'm using every single notch on this clipper. Uh, I find that uh, especially in the neck taper where I have a lot more room to work with, I like stretching out the blend a lot more. I just feel like it looks a lot cleaner. Now here I have the number one guard attached to the clipper and once again always starting off with the lever at the all the way open position. I'm going to be flicking up about half an inch this time uh, to go ahead and create the new guideline. So now switching over to the half guard. Uh, we're going to start to once again down fade from the top to the bottom starting off with the lever at the all the way open position just making sure that i stay underneath the previous guideline that we had set now here i'm going in with the lever all the way close and i'm really just flicking up about quarter of an inch uh, to start blending in the very bottom of the line now i adjusted the lever to the halfway position and just really flicking up that should completely blend off that line Now I have the number one and a half guard attached to the clipper starting off with the lever all the way open. We're going to go ahead and continue to blend up going up about half an inch. Now here I'm closing the lever just going in right underneath the previous step to go ahead and clean it up a little bit more. So the one and a half guard close didn't fully get rid of the bottom line so I went back to my previous step which was the number one guard and I'm starting off with the lever all the way open and just really flicking up trying to lighten up the line that I see. If it doesn't completely get it away I close the lever or just really playing with the lever because sometimes like the head shapes aren't 100% perfect or just like the hair colors are completely different so you really have to kind of mess with the lever just to really blend it all in. But here I have my number two guard attached to the clipper and with the lever all the way open, I'm just really flicking out, trying to blend it in uh, to the top as best as I can. Now here I'm going back in with the one and a half guard with the lever all the way open, just to blend in the taper to that two and a half guard. Now I'm going in with my liners. These are the FX3s. I do have these modified. I have the Filthy Blends mod uh, to where I could attach the normal uh, Babyliss trimmer blade on there. I just find that the normal Babyliss blade works a lot better than the regular blade that comes with this trimmer. I was never able to get them to hit until I did this modification. But with the lineup, I'm really trying to keep it as natural as possible, but I really want to make it as sharp as it could be.
Now here I'm going in with my straight edge razor just to go ahead and remove all the little stubble area. This is going to make it appear a lot sharper and a lot cleaner. So now to really finish off his haircut, I am going to be applying a little bit of color enhancement to his front lineup just to make it look a lot sharper. And I know a lot of people are not a big fan of color enhancement, but me, I am. So I'm going to do what I got to do to just to make my client feel super, super fresh. And if that means adding a little bit of color enhancement just to make it look sharp, so be it. I mean, his hairline was already pretty much sharp. It was the sharpest I could get it without using color enhancement. So just by adding it is going to give it the extra little oomph to make his haircut really nice and stand out. But you guys, once again, this was the cut. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that thumbs up. Also, leave your guys' comments in the comment section down below. I really appreciate you guys sticking through all the way to the end. But if you guys would like to purchase any of the tools and equipment I use in this video, the links will be in the description down below. And if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is on the top left hand corner. But once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I can't repeat this shit.